Hello there, people. Mm -hmm. That should be right. That should be right. Welcome to my humble abode. Abode day. Okay, it works. Brilliant. Hello. Um, it's me. The lights are off. I am home. Uh, my setup is the wrong way around. Give me a second. Okay, that, that. Now, I'm trying to find something to watch. I have stumbled across the Ouija Brothers. I don't know if anyone is familiar with the Ouija Brothers. They appear to be two UK based um, paranormal investigators. It's a me, Mario. Yeah, they appear to be two UK based do do does. Um, they've done a thirty minute episode. They've done several, quite. A, they've done. Fuck me. They've done seven episodes on thirty East Drive. I will show you the screen. Hello. Um, they've done lots of investigations at East Drive. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one of these on for a bit. That seems like something that I could spend my early hours of this uh, Saturday slash Sunday morning watching. I'm thinking this one, 45 minute video, uh, 48 hours alone in the world's most haunted house. So completely by himself. So I'm thinking maybe that. Um, could also watch, well, any of them really. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe. That could be clickbait for the title. My guess is this was the first time they went there. Okay, so, see, this one is just the most important house in Europe. Uh, that is a compilation, so this must be the first one then. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah, we'll watch this, I think. There's a few peaks and or troughs. Don't know what's going to happen. Let's find so out. Boys, right now, I'm heading to 30 East Drive to do a 48 hour challenge. And I'm not going to lie, I am absolutely crapping it. I've never done this. I've always wanted to do this for such a long time. We visited this location at least 20 times, but I've never spent two days. I've never even spent a day. The longest I've ever spent in there is about an hour on my own. But I'm going there for two nights all on my own, and it's going to be an experience to remember. So, yeah, I'm leaving my house right now, and we're going I'm to do the two-hour drive up to Pontefract. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Big fan of East Drive. It's a cool intro, to be fair. This is obviously East Drive. First video I've watched that I think has actually had establishing shots and B-roll footage. Yeah, their music's well done. Right, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm in 30 East Drive now. On my own. And I've got to spend two nights here, He's all on my own. No, no one else is here. I've been here for a few hours. Um, I was just talking to Carol, 
um, and Simon from East Drive Paranormal just hanging out, trying to chill out. It's now around about half 11 at night in the most haunted house in England. And I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely... So, every time, he's men every, every time we've seen it mentioned, it has downgraded. It went from the most haunted house in the world to the most haunted house in Europe to the most haunted house in England. Shit in it. Um, excuse my language, I'm absolutely crapping it so much in this house. And I know a lot of people just saying, it's just a house, it's just a house, but this is the house that I've experienced everything that made me want to become a paranormal investigator. But at this very second, I do not want to be anything like that. But, um, See, that's interesting then. So he had a life-changing paranormal experience at um, 30 East Drive. I don't even know how I'm going to do two nights. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to do two nights. Is there anyone here with me? You can hear in my voice, I can't even call out right. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I've been here for a few hours. Um, nothing has really happened. Um, it's been pretty quiet, but now I'm here on my own and everyone has left. The tension is <laughs> through the bloody roof. Could you give me a sign, please? Could you knock on that door, please, for me? Is there any spirits here? We have jump cut, but sure. How you doing, Emma? Emily? You all right? So he's obviously gone. Is your good friend stay? He's obviously gone in, stay here. He's obviously gone in with the pre... from previous uh, interaction that there's a spirit in this place called Emily, maybe? Which is a name that I feel like I've heard previously in other uh, Third East Drive episodes and shows. It's been um, a few months since I've last been here. Do you want to come and say hello? Yeah, see something peeped around that corner. You don't I'll have be to be afraid of me. Out of the house. But yeah, I'm upstairs. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. In one of the most haunted houses in the world, easily in the UK and in Europe. And yeah, I'm just chilling in the parents' room. Nothing has happened as of yet. I'm still tense. Still nervous. But um, so far, it's going all good because nothing's happened. And in a way, that's how I kind of want it to happen. Um, to stay, I should say, because, you know, you know, my heart can only take so much scariness, to be honest. So, yeah. Right, so just to show you, for people who don't know, that is Joe Pritchard. Oh, that's Joe. Okay, um, I didn't know what he looked he like. He used to live here. He actually died... In the bathroom, Died apparently in the bathroom he choked upstairs, on his own vomit yeah. um, once when he was out drinking. But that's the father, the legend, and that's his wife, Jean Pritchard. So these are the two Pritchards. And this so, lady stayed in this house for So yeah, Joe is the man who um, upstairs got, or no, sorry, downstairs got locked in the coal hole. Which is fun. Many, many years on her own. A lot of people said, you know, that she ran out of the house back in the 60s, 70s, you know, when all the activity happened, which isn't true at all. You know, she stayed here for many, many, many years. Um, up until 2000, I think 2010 or 11 or 12, one of them. So she's, you know, she stayed here all on her own. And I just, it, it baffles my mind, how the hell did she do that? Because this house is so bad. I mean, we've stayed 
be 20, 23, 24 nights, something like that, in the 20s. And there's been many times where I've just gone, how the hell did that lady sleep on her own in this house? Yeah, I see that. She can do it, I'm sure. It's crazy. But, um, man, total, total credit to that lady. Just didn't give a crap. Still there, they haven't moved. Um, none of the devices have gone off, thankfully. Can you bang on the door? Can you knock on the door for me? Copy this. Imagine something just knocks back now. Come on. Copy me. Meant to be a portal behind there. Meant to be a portal is in fact a boiler. Just a boiler. Oh, yeah. See, he's got the lights on, it would appear, which understandable. I probably would too. Just stepping back a bit, just in case he does knock back. I don't know anything about this channel, but I am intrigued by them. It's so weird because. You just stand in this room and it just feels like... See... I don't know. Because the Ram Inn is actually... Depending on who you ask, the Ram Inn... Uh, is the more haunted place of the two. I still think the stuff will happen. I think we'll get stuff. It it's weird. It's a weird one. So if you look at this list of the 2011 top uh, 100 places, a list that I've gone through quite frequently, East Drive's in at number three. Um, Chillingham Castle's in at number two, but they aren't open to the public, as far as I could tell. Um, and then the Ram Inn's in at number one. See, I thought it was, I think... Where's the list? Hang on. Hang on. So, it used to be, back in 2018, uh, 30 East Drive was the number one most haunted place. Sorry, the 2022 list's out. Hold the phone. Sorry, hang on a second. This is... I'm suddenly excited. I've not seen this. This only just came out um, last week. Two weeks ago now, but apparently I just hadn't seen it. So, I'm going to have a quick scroll through this, more importantly now. Uh, the Kenton Theatre, number 100. Yes, I know the Kenton. Familiar with that. Fleece Inn. Wentworth Woodhouse. The British School Museum. I've been there. Um, been there. Not been there. See, that's gone down significantly. It's only gone down to six. I thought it was uh, more than that. Warwick Scale House. The Old Nick Theatre, that's a cool looking building. The Adelphi Theatre in London. Uh, oh, Penzance. Pengerswick Castle. Where's that in relation to me? Because Penzance is relatively, I mean, I say relatively, it's quite a trek, but Penzance is, you know, approachable. Some more museums. Kelvin and Hatch Nuclear Bunker. Some more place. Canic Chase. Uh, the place where Lee... I can't remember his name. Some guy called Lee. Um, frequently he writes books about it. They've got a pig man. 
a werewolf, UFOs, ghosts, black-eyed ghost children. Uh, all the fun stuff is in Canic Chase. And that's only at number 73 or 72. Um, Port Talbot, Margam Castle, yeah, classic. Another nuclear bunker in Nantwich. I don't know a lot of these. 50 Berkeley Square. I've, I've been there. Uh, there's not much there now. It's just someone's house. As far as I can tell. That's a weird thing to have outside a pub. But sure. Sure. Okay, so we're halfway through. There have been a few that I've recognised name-wise. And quite a few that I haven't. Uh, somewhere in Scotland. A graveyard, I guess. Nice. The Groundlings Theatre in Portsmouth, yep, another one that I've heard of. The, Adelph the Adelphi Hotel. Hotels annoy me because they don't tend to let you in, you have to like, book out the entire place. Uh, the Mermaid Inn in Rye, nice place. The Mill, Mill Street Barracks, St Helens. Spoken to them, they're expensive. No one knows who owns this anymore. Um... HMP Gloucester, really expensive. Bishton Hall, Dudley Castle, HMP Dorchester, owned by the same people. Um, so we're up to the top 20. North Fort Weymouth, the National Justice Museum in Nottingham, the SS Great Britain in Bristol, uh, Ye Old King's Head in Chester. Guy's Cliff House in Warwick, Smethwick Baths in Smethwick, the Jamaica Inn. That's just been sold. However, I do have a contact there that I'm currently in conversation with named Karen, um, who is the head of paranormal events and activities within the Jamaica Inn, which is in Cornwall, relatively close to me. Um... I've sent an email about this place. I'm waiting for a response from the owner. That's quite expensive. I'm intrigued by the um, Paranormal Research Centre and Museum. The Skirred Mountain Inn. Again, no way to get hold. Not Karen. Karin. Um, don't know how to get hold of them. Shepton Mallet. One of the most haunted places in the country. I want to get in there. Can't work it out. Chillingham Castle, that's dropped a few. Oh, so that must mean we've got a new number two. No change for East Drive, um, which is fine. So the new number two, number one, we've been to number one. Number one is the Ancient Ram Inn. Um, we've done that one. Number two is the Edinburgh Vaults. A memorable episode of Spooked Scotland was filmed there, um, where they had frightening child apparitions and so many spirits. One of the one of the most haunted team was scratched in two thousand and eight by an unseen force. Um, okay, so that could be a good one. I do like a bit of Scotland, and then of course the ancient Ram Inns in at number one, um, which we've got. Nineteen hours and twenty minutes until the video goes out, but yeah. So these are all of the um, ones. This is the new thing. I will go back through. Ooh. Oh, this. These are all local to me. Have a quick look. Kitty J's grave. Okay, so that is a fun place. Um, so that's already wrong. That's Newton Abbott, not Newton Albert. Um, Kitty J was apparently a worker, essentially a farm worker. She fell pregnant, killed herself because she wasn't married, and it was a shame. Um, she was shamed. 
killed herself and was buried on the crossroads of various different pieces of land. Um, and now it's said that overnight, every day, that flowers appear on her grave. Um, nobody puts them there, they just appear. But she's just buried in the middle of Dartmoor National Park. There's like, you know, trinkets that people take along, put there. People go there. A lot of people think she haunts the grave. Uh, locals don't go there. I mean, you think someone's putting them there. Yeah. But apparently, nobody's putting them there. Apparently people have sat around waiting all night, you know, watching. Uh, and nobody's put them there, but they've been there in the morning. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Um, if that were me, I would just take a tripod, take a camera, put that there, film, watch it back in the morning and see either either you've caught evidence of flowers appearing out of nowhere, remarkable groundbreaking stuff, or there's just a dude. Uh, what else is in Devon? Bobby Tracy, Bobby Heathfield Local Nature Reserve. Uh, Oliver Cromwell, some boring stuff, nothing about ghosts. Chaddicombe Manor, big stories there. I don't know many of these, to be fair. Westman's Woods, um, I'm familiar with Westman's Woods. That's a woods in Devon, uh, relatively close to Plymouth, actually, just outside. Um, there's a phantom dog there, there's a few other phantom things. It's, it's a weird place, I've not been... Well, I want to go to the Scott Cinema in Barnstable, if that's nearby me as well. I want to go there. How do I... How, do, how does one... If ever a place has called out to me, it's this place. I want to go there. Now. Maybe not now, but... The problem is it's a cinema. They run... I mean, they've currently got movies on show now, which is annoying. Um, hmm, I might look into that. The Exeter Old Courts in Exeter. Couldn't work out how to get into there, I've tried. The Old Church House Inn. Um, again, can't find an email address, can only find a phone number. Great Fulford Manor in Exeter. And finally, the most haunted place in Devon is probably going to be Berry Pomeroy Castle. Yeah. Um, which unfortunately is owned by the National Trust, which means that I can't get in there. I am, however, going to bookmark this page because I feel like this could be quite useful for me in the future. Same with this one, actually. Let's bookmark both of these. And then we'll go back to the video that we were actually watching initially. Um, so, yeah. An old dingy bedroom. Big fan of the Higgy Pop website. The activity that's happened in this house, I mean, in this room alone, you know, before, you know, when the Pritchards lived here, you know, they had a wardrobe apparently against this wall and all the clothes were just being thrown all out of you, you know, back in the day. Dale and Justin had the massive footsteps go all the way across that shook the lampshade from downstairs. This is just me moving, guys. Don't have to worry. You know, we had a fireball right here. We was all we all had a mattress there, and an electric charge went off. So next to a lot of people in Thirty East Drive sleep there. Um, one of the rules on the website for Thirty East Drive was bring your own bedding. Um, so yeah. I don't know if I want to sleep there myself. I'm unconvinced. Griff's dad's head, and it was like an orange fireball, and he just lit up the room, and it curved all the way here, over the bed, through the window. I don't know if we are. I mean, I personally am not, because I don't fancy, you know. I mean, I'd to be fair, I'm a lot less scared. 
for 30 East Drive than I was for the Ram because even though now I know equal amounts, go it like the ancient Ram Inn um, was one of those places that I've been following for so long, like the Ghost Adventures episode there. Um, was in like 2008 or some shit. 2012. So, and I watched that when it first came out. No, 2009. Yeah, see, that's the big difference here. 2009, the Ancient Ramen episode of Ghost Adventures came out, so that's like 13 years. So I knew, when we were going into the Ram, I knew like a lot about it. Whereas 30 East Drive, I'd never actually really heard of until you mentioned it the other week, or you know, when we left the Ram. Um, since then I have, admittedly, looked it up quite extensively. Um, and I am afraid of it, it does scare it. Does it scare me? It concerns me. But Zach Bagans hasn't been there, so you know. And it's like times like this now. I'm just standing here, and you just think, did all that happen? But I know it did. It's so weird. It really is weird. Yeah, see, you sent me that, and I did watch it, and it was a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it was freaky. I'm I'm invested in it. I've seen now that I've watched over the last like month. Um, oh God, I've got to find the fucking link again now. Hang on. Pretty sure you sent it to me on WhatsApp. Um, oh really? Keep scrolling. It's got to be on here somewhere. Are you not at work, Brad, or have I gone mental? Right. Oh. Brilliant. Here we are. Okay, everyone. Here we go. Lights out. And quite honestly, I'm, I've just been for a week because I'm afraid I'm going to wee myself. This is the woman that lives next door as well. That woman who lives next door. Um, this is her. Okay. I'm going to open this creepy door. I'm not going to look in myself. This is though. the neighbour. Carol. This is Carol. I'll back up because I don't like it. Right. What was that? Right, I'm going to go open this door now. And you see some shadows. But that is me putting my phone in my other arm. So I, I'm wondering if this was like before she got as invested in the hauntings, etc., as she is now. Right. Maybe this is what led to her. Shit. Right. Oh, I just did something. Because she did say during what did I watch? One of the things I watched, probably the overnight video, maybe. Um. Did they come here? I'm pretty sure they came here. She said in that interview that she doesn't go in to clean it on her own now. They go in in pairs or groups because she had an experience in here 
that she could never get over. And I take it this is that experience. Well, so I'll just go about my stairs. There's the horrible mirror. What the hell was that? Have I to really cope there? Oh! What? God! Can't scare me, you bastard. I'm coming. Sorry for swearing, people. Some, someone's just moved up. Oh, oh. The fucking hell. The accent almost makes me... Yeah, it's funny as well. Okay, Fred, if this is you, piss off. This is the perfect balance um, of spooky and... Uh, you know, comedic because the accent does make it feel funny. I, I am your friend. I'm coming up. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just have a rest. Right, you stop bloody banging your cow. I'm coming up. You're not scaring me. That is for Alan. To prove that it is top of banister. Hello, Pauline, I'm shitting myself. Right. This is a little. What? Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that she's got like a northern accent, um, it would just be like. Because that is making me smile. If that wasn't here, it would be horrible. Sounds like there's something in that bedroom. Sometimes it opens the door for you. Emma, if you're in there, can you open my door, please? It. Opens the door for you. Emma, if you're in there, can you open so my door, it please? Like there might be a spirit called Emma. That door's also either about to open or is already slightly ajar. That's the attic. Can you let me in, Emma? I don't know where to go now. Dare I go towards it? Open door. What the fuck was that? It's not funny when you on your Todd. Emma, open door for me. What the, the fuck was it? Emma, open door for me. That handle actually moved as well then. Emma, open door for me. The handle moves. So there has to be someone in that room. The... Okay. The... There was a cut there. But I am pretty sure this was at the time. Um, broadcast live, so... Okay. I take it the highlight video has had some cuts. Um, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm off to the top of the stairs. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Come on, Kelly. You've been in here a thousand fucking times. Come on. I've been to the toilet, I will tell you. But it's the other end that's coming out. Right, that door has just opened. It's still moving. I hope people can. Where's that come from? Where the? I'm gonna go into Philip's bedroom now. Ah! 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 Fuck! 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 I'm all right. Oh God! I'm having a heart attack. Okay, okay, Emma, I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, this ain't gonna last long because. And the door's shut again. Right. I will say there's a doll's house in there she plays with. Now, this is the. 
This is a creepy parent's bedroom. What the frig? I'll just show you around in here. Can you? What? Hello? Hello? I've just heard somebody on the stairs. So stupid person. Okay, that is it. That is it. I dare go down the swamp upstairs. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Right. I'm going to go in Philip's bedroom. I'm going to go in Philip's bedroom. Frig me, Chris. I wish I hadn't said I'd do this. Frigging do. Oh, come on, Chris. Oh. I can hear a noise in the background, but it is, it's in that cupboard and it is the airing cupboard. So that's where the boiler is. And it sounds like it's just, someone's just come up at the back of me. Fucking door. Bollocks. She's very, um, startled. Now I want to go back down now. I want to go back down now, seriously, in a dead twatty move. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Hello? I'm sorry for camera checking, but it's... <sighs> Big mistake, this doing this cleaning at night. Stupid mistake. Right, I'm, I'm coming back to the stairs. I don't... Ah! Fucking hell! Oh, God. Oh, ma'am. Oh. Oh, I don't want my mum because she's an ass, but there you go. Uh, come on, I'm going to man up now. Well, not man up because I'm a woman. I'm going to woman up now. Come on. Can anybody hear what I can hear? Can you hear it, Chris? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I don't. Let me go. Oh, I can't. I have to pass it. Fucking hell. Right. That is a concern that I had during the uh, RAM investigation of if something happens I've got to get to the door and there were certain points like when we were in the loft or uh, the attic where if something were to happen and all four of us are there there is a it is a journey to get to the um to get to the door to get out like so if say we saw something up there we're not getting out not easily um not quickly because you can only get down the stairs one at a time because they like because there's a like legitimate risk they might collapse um and it was just like if something were to happen now We've got to go, but like, how do we get? How do we get out? All right, just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. Just leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Who's on? Oh, I'm gonna shit myself. What? Right, I'm coming. I'm gonna shit myself. Please, just leave me. All right, just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. Just leave. All right, just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. Just leave. What is it? That's a person talking. Leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Just leave me alone. Somebody's just. The second bit said a monster. All right, just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. Just leave. I don't know what I can't make out the first bit, but the second word is a monster. Leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Who's on? So who? What? Let's let's think about this logically. Could that have been some sort of maybe echo device? Maybe potentially. 
Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna shit myself. What? Right. There's a very oh, faint. What? Noise in the background there that sounds to me that like it could be static. Right. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Wherever you are. So that could have been. This isn't funny. I'm coming out. Wherever you are. That was that was that was what I can only describe as the noise of a monster. This isn't funny no more. This is not funny. Fuck off. Right, I've just shut door. I've just shut door. Bed, I'm gonna sit on the fucker. I dare not move. Hmm. Oh someone's just stopped on that cupboard. Jesus Christ! I'm sat here. I am shitting it. I've had to shut. I've shut door. I've shut door. I've shut door. You know, Chris, this is what we hear all the time. I hadn't seen this video prior to agreeing. Um, I hadn't seen anything on this place prior to agreeing to go here. I've since watched like Carl from Most Wanted die, get knives thrown at them, picture frames launched at Stuart's big fucking round head. You know, always look into places beforehand. But when we're in house and we're talking, we're taking a notice of it. But, um, oh. Does anybody want me to ask anything? What the fucking hell? Are you sure you heard breathing sounds? Are you sure it's not me, Chris? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I, I, I want to go down. I mean... All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not... Fucking, I'm freezing. I'm freezing's coming past the bedroom. What was that that's just gone past this? Oh god! I'm freezing's coming past the bedroom. What was that that's just gone past this? Oh god! I'm gonna go down. I've had enough. You heard some breathing sounds, Chris. Well, yeah, I, I, I hope I'm still breathing. Yes, Everybody... it was on a Nukes video. You're right. Then look at that, oh, Donny Osmond. Right. Do you like? Do you like it when people's in house on their own? Yeah. So I had seen this before, but like you say, I'd never put two and two together. The sun. And then Maya said, "Let's go here." And then we are going in here. Something on the land. Landing. <sighs> God, Chris, I wish. That's fair, that's fair. I'm just like, you know, debating how my life got to this point. Well, yeah, the, 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 don't, don't, because last time I said this, to quote my previous self, um, I do this to myself. I've kept my balance this time, we're safe. We're sure we're here. Um, the fuck is that? Uh, what are you, Victoria? I think it's Teddy that's in Emma's room. What the shit was that? I like. <clears throat> I mean, I, I. The thing is, you see, you say that. For me. And I'm pretty sure for Jordan. The Ram Inn was life changing. My life can't be changed that dramatically in one year. 
I don't think my life could handle this many like significant changes. I hope you're hearing this and that, Anne Marie. I hope you're all fucking watching this and that swearing. What was that? What was that? Whatever that was, I don't know. Because I don't. It sounded like something dropping, but I don't know where. Okay. Emma, if that's you upstairs, will you move, please? Because I want to go down. Oh, that's me breathing very deeply. I might start shouting that when we're here. The lights just come on. Good. Turn all the lights on. The frigging light has just come on. Oh. I know I'm fed up today and a bit down and I did scream and ball when I came in the house and told it not to come near me and to F off and all this shit, but I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Right. I'm going to get out and go back on. Maybe I might not. It would fit in nicely alongside Emma, if this two. is you, sweetheart, will you just leave me alone a minute so I can get downstairs? Please. See, the thing is, I've seen... I've seen enough videos at this place now to think there has to be... I don't necessarily buy this live stream, but I've seen enough stuff here. Just random people that have like visited the place. Um, just random, you know, people going there for fun. And they can't all be, like, like, they can't all fake it. They just can't. Just leave me alone a minute. I'm coming out of Philip's bedroom now. Just leave me. It can't oh, be Oh, shit. I can hear tapping in that cupboard. I don't know where... Oh! I don't know where to go. Don't I mean, again, let's just remind ourselves of one of the most famous pictures from this place. Um... Uh, where am I going? Uh, that's the thing, they gain nothing from that. That's the ones that I find really credible. Here we go. So, people are finding, this is the um, visitors image, images that people that have been here. Well, yeah, exactly. Pe this is the people that have been here, have had, have submitted their pictures. Uh, so this one is potentially of Emma, the murdered girl. This is just a picture they took all at East Drive. There's the figure of a young girl. And then someone has like drawn over the top what they think they see in that picture, which I sort of, yeah, you do. Could that be Paradoilia matrixing? Possibly. But again, this something someone has seen it's got translucency to it so it could be something on the lens um, it could have been edited in afterwards but again it's just a weird picture a shadowy mass appearing at the top of the stairs uh, on a static fixed camera again not not nice more shadows downstairs. Now that, to me, looks different to the other stuff because it looks like it's blocking the light out on the outside of the door, potentially. This one here, it looks like there's someone sat there in the other room reading a book. Um, I don't know what this one claims it's caught. 
an orb with glowing eyes, potentially a cat, a spirit cat. Evening. This Bible got moved. I don't know what that is. I don't see anything in that. That's the picture I don't like. This picture was taken inside Philip's bedroom. Um, a random photograph, not noticed until the photographer checked his camera. Um, validated as being genuine by Father Gary Thomas, who I suddenly, whose name rings a bell. Is that who I think it is? That is who I think it is. He's the smiley. He's the he's the dude that's been in um, Buzz no Ghost Adventures. One of them. Brilliant. Go away. No, was he in? He was in something. I don't, however, know what. I knew his face, so I know he's been in a show. Hmm. I'll find out soon. There are some more pictures of things, just shadows on the stairs. Weird things in mirrors. I don't actually know what I'm looking at here, but weird things in mirrors. Some more weird shit. I don't know what this is either. I guess just like water or something moving. This is one of the bolts potentially of electricity. Uh, the ball of light that someone claims to have seen in... the vi <laughs> That would make sense. Um, the video that we watched previously. Um... Oh, oh, in the middle of he was talking about how a ball of like electrostatic light was found was seen in the air, and I guess this is sort of what you know they're describing in that a shadow. I don't know what I don't I don't know. Uh, somebody holding an elf. That is the ghost, apparently. I I think that's probably the cameraman. If I'm honest. Possibly. There's another orb. What's this? Oh, this is a book. Don't look back in anger. The blank, the Black Monk of East Drive. There's a couple of books about the Black Monk of East Drive then. But yeah, the the the, the one that I don't like is this one. Um. Yeah, I. This one. This 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 little image here. Um does me a spook because it's floating the entity is floating it's actually worse if you look at it closer because there's a second entity with red eyes almost on the wall here there's two red eyes and a shadowy figure body legs arms potentially the same figure that might be that figure's shadow being cast on the wall but i see red eyes in amongst it um Right, I'm going to go on to landing. Oh. What the hell? See, my only thing is there could be someone in this room. All right, I think I've had enough. I, I, mm, I think priests possibly can lie. Uh, I think priests are very, uh, very well known for... Certain lies. Off. I want to go down. I want to go right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch because I'm gonna kick the fucking teddy back. Water's running in bathroom. I'm gonna go in and have a look. Yeah, do that. There's got to be somebody in there. There's really got to be some get in there. Yeah, so go look. Because if there isn't, I'll believe Something's you. Something's growling in the bathroom. 
Why is that big one? That should be up on. Oh, Christ. I hope you're all finding this fucking funny. Right, I'm now going to turn this light off. Back to normal. Sorry, I don't... <sighs> Where the frig are you, Chris, when you wanted? Oh! Oh! I'm going to be break. That sounded like... Oh, fuck's sake. Right, I'm not liking this. These... Who's at the back of it? Oh, hello? Hello? There's a lot of lovely, horrific noises happening around I her. I'm getting to sound like bleeding. If it, the vet are haunted. Oh, you know what I mean. Most haunted. Who's on stairs? See, what you want to do is you want what to sound more hell? like Stuart from Most Haunted. Emma, I'm sorry for shouting. I'm sorry, Emma. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I want to go down. Will you get upstairs, please? I'm sorry for phone checking. Right. That's the thing. Is there stuff happening in every room? And she's... She's also actively responding to the live chat, so it's not like this is pre-recorded and they're running it back. Um, I'm going to... It's not right when we have not light on. Oh! Can anybody hear these? Obviously. Jesus! Fuck that light off. I'm coming down. Come, please don't push me. Please, 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 we're right up against bleeding wall here. Bedroom, I am freezing. I'm a whammer. Do, <laughs> do you know if I weren't shitting me then? For, for phone dithering. Yeah, I don't know how... I, I struggle to believe this video. Um, for a similar reason, I struggle to believe a lot of Most Haunted. Just so much happens in it. But at the same time, again, I'm confident this place, it has to have stuff in it. But... Oof. Well, attic's still locked up, so I know I'm safe there. Um... Christ. See, I, I just I, want to go mm. down. I don't go down, because I've heard something downstairs. Oh, just a minute. Got some... I don't know. We're experiencing okay, a lot yeah, of, oh, there's a lot of lag in this video, obviously because she's live streaming please. it. Can you open door please, Emma? I hope you heard that. See, I can hear keys rattling. That's bollocks. That, that is complete bollocks because she flicked the coin off. Okay, Emma, oh, please. You can see her hand do it. Can you open door please? You can actively see her flick the coin. I'm not convinced by the coin. Because she actively flicks that. Please, Emma. I hope you heard that. I can hear keys rattling. Can anybody else that's watching she this? She that, so I'm unconvinced. Hear but... keys rat rattling. Don't, I've had enough of bells ringing. What the hell? I can assure you I am in here on my own. And I know we're going to do an hour, but you're getting 15 minutes. That's it. End of. Emma, please. I'm not going to go back in him. Emma, can you open the door for me, please? That one's... I don't know what to do for best. That's coming from... Chris, can you tell where that... Right, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go back into these rooms. And I'm going to be really brave now. If you don't see me after tonight, all your twats are coming to my funeral, I'm telling you. Oh! That door, oh, that door's just flicked up. See, the thing is, what if we're there for like 20 minutes and this shit starts happening, Maya? And then we've got to stay for the other, um, like, you know, the remaining, like, fucking eight hours, whatever, however long we're there. I don't even know how long we're there. It's open. Oh. <laughs> 
you're happy at that when we leave. We, we do what we do last time. We just go sit in the car. Oh my god. Someone's tapping. I am shitting it here, I'm telling you. Ah! Oh. 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 Christ. All right, I I've had enough now. I want to go down. I don't go down. Good idea. I'm sorry for shouting at you. I'm really sorry for shouting at you. <gasps> Did you? That's the bathroom. I think we've got a, a combination of the lag from it being a live stream and... What the fuck? This being a video uploaded, so I'm not... Can anybody sit in... Is it me or is that door moving? Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, I've shit it, I'm going. I'm just going to ask the little girl that's in the little bedroom. Emma, I'm sorry for shouting, sweetie. Will you open the door for me, please? I have just seen something. Yeah, it is there, I'll give you that. There's something there. I have just seen something. I have just seen something. Right, that's it, I'm off down, I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. See, the thing to bear in mind that adds the plausibility I don't to this to a degree. Oh, someone's following me. And same as we said before. Oh, Jesus Christ, I must have had to kick that. Is this woman has no vested interest, well, she does, because she lives next door and she does interviews through it. But she's not like actively in here to investigate the paranormal. You know what I mean? She's like... I'm not I don't sure think I'm she gains that. enough. Oh my god, there's a shadow upstairs. Can you see this? You Just see a minute. It? I don't know if I can see it because I've got to take my torch off. Can anybody... Chris, can you see us? Oh no, you can't because I'm on the roof. Right, I'm going to put it up to the stairs. There's a shadow up there. Go on then, I'm looking, you silly bitch. Oh no, I think it might be just off banister. Right. I'm going to go. I am going to go. I'm coming into the room. Someone's the back of me. Trimming's been pulled down. There we go. That's again. That's. What the fucking hell was that? Oh shit, 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 shit. I can't get away, can't get away. That's it, I'm gonna have to go. I'm going home. I'll see you all later. Bye. Is she bailing through the window? What? So, yeah. So, yeah. The coin flick is the big thing. I'm also reading the comments at the minute, Maya. But, and again, the thing that still um, gets me about this
apparently at 56 seconds you can hear someone ask if the camera can pick them up. Let's jump, let's just jump back to 56 seconds. Right, I'm going to go open this door now. And you see some shadows, but that is me putting my phone in my other arm. And you see some. Right. Right, I'm going to go open this door. There's a, there is a faint whisper in the background. I'm unconvinced. Um, but again, based on all the other stuff I've seen, people that have just gone there on their own, etc. I still think there's a lot in this place. This place still gives me big... Yeah, don't get me wrong, I think there are still significant things that need um that happen here based on the most haunted episodes all the other basically all the other episodes speaking of which let's carry on with this video because he just feels like a bedroom at the moment it just feels like a bedroom but it isn't one of the most haunted rooms in England. And I don't care who says, oh no, it's not. Yeah, it fucking is. You look at someone like this guy who's been here ten or so times. Just going into stealth mode. Going into stealth. And you look at people like Nick Groff. Um, so look what time it is. The paranormal shows, the paranormal. It's two o'clock in the morning. I've been doing this now for about three, about three hours, I think something like that. Nothing's happened. Nothing. I have actually lied here for about forty minutes, um, just chilling, just trying to listen. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I'm confident. I have seen footage of people. Um, see, so yeah, I've I've seen footage on shows and YouTube videos of people faking stuff in the Ram Inn. I'm confident I've seen that. Which going into it, I was sceptical of the Ram Inn. Having now left the Ram Inn, been to the Ram Inn, etc., at the Ram Inn. Um. Yeah. Just watch it on your own, Brad. Don't tell Eleanor. You'll be fine. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Nothing has happened, so... Yeah, but... She's not going to know. Just don't tell her. Simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start cleaning my teeth. Jesus. Night one of 30 East Drive. It's pretty much over. Um, I'm gonna jump into bed now. Gonna try and relax and try and get some sleep. Uh, nothing has happened, so sorry about that. I know I haven't probably done the kind of investigating that you guys have kind of wanted me or probably used to seeing, I suppose. But I just people want... use this place because I've seen um, the. It happened in one of the other videos I watched. Was it the? It might have even been the overnight video. Um, people use this place as an Airbnb, but then. You say that, it's not even that pricey if you think you've got a group of you all doing it. I need to kind of do something a bit different, you know, and just listen, chill out and just see if anything happens. I have done a bit of, bit of calling out though, to be honest. Um, not as much as I usually do, but nothing happened. So, I'm going to go to bed now in this room alone and kind of hoping nothing happens. So...
how's it going guys day two 30 yeah three bedrooms a couple of double beds east drive um i've been awake for about 40 minutes so i'm just kind of just relaxing a bit in the bedroom nothing happened last night so my wish kind of come true i still think if and or when we go back to the ram in we get that airbnb around the corner no, nothing. I had no sounds, no bangs. Yeah. Again, like you say, the prison's ridiculous. No knocks, nothing. You know, it was quite a decent kind of sleep. I mean, I was tense, obviously, which is to be expected, but it was all right. So I'm just going to get up. The prisons are stupid. You need um, all sorts of different insurance, like multiple millions of pounds worth of insurance, etc., Get some breakfast, clear my teeth, um, and yeah, see what today brings. Well, that's creepy. So, guys, um, it's around about 12 p.m., so dinner time. Um, still haven't experienced anything. It's been quite nice. It's a nice sunny day, so just chilling out um, in bed, trying to get some more sleep. So not a lot happened, but what we're gonna do while I'm in here on my second day, um, I'm gonna do the infamous spirit box. I'm just gonna see if there's okay, anything we can capture. Shack, spirit box. I do have the Mel meter on the floor right next to the camera. And there is a REM pod on the stairs, and just before hit and record, it was going off. And I did hear a noise go off in here, like something walking. And unfortunately, the camera wasn't recording because I was getting everything set up. I was actually in the kitchen grabbing this when I actually heard, well, both the noises Sleep to be honest. First, use the REM pod, and then in here. And I was praying to God the camera was recording, but it wasn't. So. Can't really put it down as paranormal, but interesting. So let's see Quote if we can actually get anything feeling. using the Sleep radio shack. So here we go. Hello, spirits. Hey, up, spirits. I've been here many times. Is there a spirit of Emily here? Can you come forward, Emily? After 20 minutes of no intelligence responses, he gives up. Understandable. That's yeah. the other thing. And again, this is there's no context here for those of you that haven't seen the video because it's not out yet. Or because you weren't there. Um, we got ridiculous responses with the spirit box at East Drive. Um, at, sorry, at the Ram. Because you look at people like this and all the other like big YouTubers that have used them. They go for long periods of nothingness. And we had some periods where it was quiet with, you know, not much. But we were... It was active. So, I've done the spirit box for about 20 minutes. Uh, maybe a few little things. Again, always got to go back and check it all out. Feels nice, it feels calm, feel relaxed. I'm just going to go make a pot noodle now. I'm going to keep recording uh, just in case anything happens, if any noises happen. So, yeah. Making a pot noodle. The and this is where the infamous footsteps upstairs start. Hold on. Something just knocked, banged. Hold on. Hello? What the fuck was that? 
They didn't come that way, come from the hallway. Oh shit. Send it like that. I weren't that sound. What the hell was that? Intriguing. I quite like the editing of how yeah. he's basically just vlogging like his life. There's no one here. I'm, I'm all here on my own. Hello? It's good that stuff's happening during the day as well. That was like multiple knocking. I'm certainly invested that things are happening during, you know, daylight. Come on. Do it now. Show the world again that it was you. Prove that you're real. You just done it, so you can do it again. Right, I think that's Carol coming in. Need to give me a flipping heart attack. Whew. So yeah, that was just Carol. Nothing paranormal. So. Whoa, that's bright. Right guys, I've been here for well, all day basically. It's around, what time is it? It is, um, it doesn't make me question what he's been eight. doing been here all day. day. Uh, nothing has happened since I last recorded. Well, actually, um, the REM pod, the mail meter that's on the floor right here, just started to go off. It just started to beep up and started to go off. It's got a fresh new battery, so it's nothing like that. It hasn't been on all day. I've literally just turned it on about two, three minutes ago. And it was literally just going up. It was literally going up, so that's very weird. Um, I've come up into the parents' room. I might do another spirit box session just for a bit. Can but go, mate, hopefully that device can go off again. If you're here with me, spirit, could you take the... Um, could you make it go off again for me, please? Could you go close to it? You just don't need a second to go. So, yeah. Bit strange. I'm quite gutted that... Um, <coughs> quite gutted that it stopped as soon as I hit record. But that's how it goes. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's nothing anything major anyway. Just he was, he was kind of beeping. So, yeah, I'm just going to chill out in this room see if we can get anything. Like I say, it's been a quite... Quite an interesting day, to be honest. We had them knocks on the door downstairs, which was pretty weird. Um, it's a music head, sorry. Someone was having a little... And uh, when we had a phone call with Dave, you know, we was actually hearing noises coming from within the house. So again, very strange, very good. Oh. Oh. Noises coming from within the house. So again, very strange, very good. Weird noises. And again, during daylight hours. Hello? Hello? Is that a shadow there? No. Okay. There's a noise from downstairs. Looks like it's not even dark here. Someone at the door. 
I've never actually managed to read the shit on the back of his door and I want to. This could be my chance. I just want to know what it says. There we go. You're braving the house at night. Neighbours sleep snug and tight. Drop out for a fag and a natter. Keep voices down to a soft pitter-patter. Basically, be quiet. Okay, that's fair. There's no one out there, mate. No, no one's it's so weird. It's the first that was one weird. It's the first time I've seen. That was the first time I've seen the inside looking out. Could you do that noise again? Oh. <laughs> that was just heartbreaking. That revelation. That moment of, oh no. What a stupid place to put it. That was like really loud moving from downstairs. I don't know how to feel, to be honest. I feel a bit weird. You know, especially after that noise that just happened. Um, downstairs. Couple of yeah. Ago. Yeah. It's quite weird because the REM pod put was it going on the and fridge. Then happened downstairs. I have to go back and check. Or at least it. say on the fridge that you've put it on but the door. That's kind of, kind of put me on edge. I can't even flipping speak at the moment. I don't know how it's going to be in the next few hours when it gets a bit darker. Oh, God, I was a right nightmare yesterday. Come my, on, spirit. My other potential concern is if we do the whole sleeping in the place, there is a chance that after an entire day of coaching across country, I will fall asleep. Hey. Oh, my God, you see that? Hold on. Hello? Did you do that again, please? Oh, so they use the infamous walking with ghosts. A very, pro uh, a very prominent paranormal brand. You can just hear some music outside. Someone's having a right rage. If that's a spirit, could you come and uh, interact with the device again, please? So that appears to be a. Mel meter. That's that is one of them. Um, yeah, that's one of them. So that's a two hundred and fifty pound piece of gear. Just thought I'd bring that up for fun. Come on. Fucking hell! What's that? What the fuck was that? Good question. That was a. Did something get thrown? That wasn't a fucking pipe. That was not a pipe or anything creaking. It definitely come from here. Where the hell is it? What was he? Yeah, the marbles have gone. I did kind of kick him out and kick him earlier. What? I weren't like that. That was—it was like a sharp noise. It was like a. <laughs> oh my! Hello? Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Shit. I'm not being funny. Shit is getting flung around my bedroom. Like, that was my SD card. Um, reader. 
and with accompanying SD card in it that was on the shelf here and that just hit my computer which following the book that I had this little number here um, which earlier fell off the bookshelf specifically fell off the bookshelf on this page this is the page that it landed like so it landed over there behind my TV down like that like on the counter and I picked it up and yeah that was the pages that it was on exorcism school and face to face with the devil which is fun so if shit could stop moving around my bedroom tonight that would be great because I'm not in the mood for that I do I mean I do have a fan on um, that could, but that fan has been on since 11 o'clock this morning so I like to think if something were going to have moved under the fans breeze it would have happened by now and specifically the book hasn't moved since I bought it two months ago uh, I put it on the shelf and this fan's been on a lot over the last two months so I'm not convinced it's a bit creepy isn't it not not a big fan I don't even know what that was I don't know what it was It's not even dark. It's not even dark. It's eight o'clock, twenty past eight, half past eight, something like that. I don't know. The REM pod. It's not even REM pod. It's a Kate. What is it? I don't even know it's anymore. A it's a mel meter. That just started to go off, and I started to ask out. I started to call out, do it again or whatever. And there was a noise, so loud from within this room. It sounds like something being thrown. There's no one here. I'm all here in this house on my own. I promise. There's no one. Hiding in there. No one in there. No one underneath the bed. Oh, don't go to focus. No one in the bathroom. There's no one in here. See, this is good. He's efficiently checking every room. There's no one? I'm sure that there's no one here. I'm here all on my own. Could you do that again? I'm telling you, if, you, if this was dark, this would not be ask, um, happening right now. I won't be asking this. Could you do it again, please? What the fuck's touching my neck? <laughs> no, Jack. I, th I, have that, I think that could just be my tag. I think that's just my tag. Oh, whatever. Just tickle my neck. I thought it was just my tag. I thought like something was... So He's clearly on edge, which understandable oh, in the circumstances. So I just want to say the heating isn't on. It's quite chilly in this house. Oh, uh, I hope it's chilly. It's all right. it's chilly. So that chilly couldn't have been any pipe work. When we go there now. Maybe it could have been a floorboard creaking. I like this guy. He's, he's logical. This is, I don't know if you were here at the very start when I introduced them. This is the Ouija Brothers. Um, they're a YouTube group. 56k... Uh, two best mates searching for the paranormal. They're UK based. That's the gist of it, really. Um, they go to all sorts of haunted places, prisons, etc. They seem pretty good. They've done a lot of videos at the uh, at East Drive. And I need to actually see quickly while I'm on their while I'm on their channel. Have they done any RAM? They've also done so he's done the same thing as this, but at the ancient RAM Inn. So obviously they frequented both places quite a bit. Um So I might watch their RAM in videos another time as well. No cracking or something, I don't know. 
But whatever it was, that was a loud, loud, loud noise from here. Are you in this room? That's just my belly. God, I'll tell you why it doesn't feel nice. I have calmed down a bit, we'll admit. Um, is this still on? Damn it. Has his battery died? I don't know. There we go. I have calmed down a bit. Um, there has been a few little things that's happened. It is surprising the amount of people you see neglect the coal hole. I'm kind of crapping it. I want to know if he's going to go to the coal hole or not. Which is my phone. I'm just going to chill down here for a bit, see if I can hear anything going on upstairs, because that's what usually happens. When you come up, I mean, when you're upstairs, it happens downstairs. When you're downstairs, it happens upstairs. So, please not use this to man, I'm out of breath. I'm not actually out of breath, it's just tense as hell. The thing is, it's not even that dark. It's about nine o'clock. Look at it. See, it's still quite light. It's pretty light out. I think it will be similar to that when we're there. God. Hello? And this is where you normally, from what I've seen of East Drive, when you're downstairs you hear footsteps upstairs, when you're upstairs you hear footsteps downstairs. That seems to be the common... Can you hear that? The common thing. There was a car going past but there was a like light thudding. Could you do that again please? Also, to on a completely unrelated note, in the overnight video, there was a infrared camera up here somewhere that isn't in this one. I've not seen any cameras in the corner of rooms in this video. I don't know if something feels different about this house Though, admitted, from I yesterday. Think the, the overnight video is more recent than this. I mean, oh God, I know. No, this is my second night and I did feel all right. Um, I was quite scared yesterday. I'm getting warm. And nothing happened, but at the moment, today seems a bit different, even though only little things have happened. Something happened upstairs, something banged. Um, I did hear like some kind of noise. I don't know what, like when I was Maybe. in the parents' room and it said, look, something was down here and then I come downstairs. So things are picking up. And I don't know if I'm happy, I don't know if I'm excited, I don't know if it's bad, I don't know. More thudding. That was a fridge. But there was a noise up above. Could you make that noise again? <sighs> yes, my battery just died. Which is pretty weird considering it's been on charge. This is my camera battery. Usually these batteries last about three hours. And this one lasted an hour. No idea, no idea whatsoever. Weird. So I've just had to put another battery in. Sorry about that. Anyway, nothing, nothing happened during that time. Now I didn't notice this earlier. This is quite weird. I don't know if it's just me, but this, see, this marble was upstairs earlier. Um, well, yesterday he was on the floor, and earlier on, I just kind of threw it downstairs. No, you throw the marble. I'm going to throw the marble downstairs. Yeah, do it. Throw it back up. And it actually landed, well it actually ended up in the kitchen, so I threw it. And it ended up in here. And it was right in that corner. And I did see it. It's a good throw. And only moments, well, just before I put the camera on again, you know, when I was changing the battery, I seen it. Right there. On the spoon. Now, I need to be honest, I don't remember picking it up and putting it on there. I don't remember at all. But it's a possibility. It is a possibility. It's to be pointless me telling you about this right now. But I like that he's honest. He's he's very honest about his um his stuff here, his actions, etc. Just letting you know. What do they have for dinner? I can't work out what that is. Um 
I'm not 100% sure. I can't even check on my video footage because I didn't even record any, but I'm just throwing it. Um, so, yeah. A bit weird. But that could have just been one of them mem. Whoa! He did that a minute ago as well. Come on. Keep it building. Can you do it again? Shit. <laughs> okay, 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 come on. Don't be afraid. Do this. Go on, do that. You know you want it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop doing that. Whatever. Just let it keep beeping. You gotta impress me, you gotta hold it. Solid, that's nothing. What was that? Fucking, I'm falling backwards as well. No, I just nearly knocked this over. <gasps> I don't know what it was. That was a massive, massive, massive bang. It was a big thud. thud. Big old loud thud. Fuck this, I'm finding Dave. Give Dave a call, tell him what's happening. I'm getting very warm now. I've just got a bump on my head. I hit my head this morning. What the fuck's this? In a cabinet. There's a marble on the floor? There's a marble on the floor. Hey, I don't know if that was on there before. Okay, guys. Fuck, I, the cr I don't even know. Maybe a crash. It was like a crashing. See, the REM pod sounds it's like it's beeping. I've just texted Dave. Dave's coming over. I ain't fucking staying here when that crap is happening. Honest to God, man. Who's Honest Dave? to God. I don't know who Dave is. Dave the is rempod's still going off. But I don't care about the rempod anymore. I tell you, if this was dark, I'd be, I would be at the house right now. I'd be gone. I wonder if Dave Dave's going to be here in about an hour. He only lives 20 minutes up the road. Why is it taking him so long? I'm not going into the car because if the house is active, which I think it is, it's got to be. I'm, I'm hearing shit happen. I don't, I don't even flipping care that REM pod, the REM pod isn't anything. It's just beeping at me, stuff like uh, But the noise is, I was, what I was going to say is, earlier, not too long ago, before that big crash happened, there was noises coming from the kitchen. It was like light thudding, but it did sound like it was coming from upstairs. And saying that, then my battery died. Right, That's a funny looking Dave. Who am I to judge? Where is it? Yeah, the right, the whole motorway was shut down. I mean, shit myself. We can fell into the fireplace. <laughs> it's horrible. There was a massive bang that happened upstairs. When? When I text you. When I text oh, you, did you? Yeah, I was in the kitchen, massive bang upstairs, I was gasping. It was that bad, I fell backwards into the fireplace. Just as we texted? No. You know, it happened and then I texted you. Okay. Where, I swear, I'm not making it up. It was it was a proper hand, like this. Yeah, so what, what just happened, guys, is I literally just turned... Oh, my God. I turned the light off and I turned the camera off for a second. <laughs> And we were just standing here in the dark for a few seconds, and then Lexi thought I, um, I, I'd grabbed her, but I was nowhere near you. It's a shame I, I didn't record that. Convenient, right. really. <laughs> I was saying these words, like this exact word, you don't even know if he stood behind you or next to you or whatever yeah, it was. What and said. as soon as I said that, something went like that on my arm. Yeah. Honestly, it was, it was funny. It weren't me, I was like standing the opposite I side. I oh, know, and I didn't even really record it, so it's 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 no good. You've got said you were just saying you gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. And I 
<laughs> just wear it. Yeah, straight away. But yeah, it is horrible. There is something here. Like I've been having some horrible stuff already. See this. Um, and good. like I say, I've just been sitting Dread in the front room for about an hour and a half because they're quite late. And um, straight away, Dave's upstairs doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but yeah. Dread and confidence. We then investigate for over three hours and capture some very interesting activity. Show me. See that footage? Go over and check out their video. Right. We all decide to set up stairs and place cameras all around the house. Sorry, no, back. Hang on a minute. That man is barefoot. That man has his little feet out. Why is that man barefoot? Have well, they got a no shoes rule in this house? No, she's wearing shoes. Is that you? Yeah, you evil little shit. I'm so glad someone else yeah. called an evil little shit for a change. <laughs> That's all I get, you evil little shit. <laughs> it's all I ever get from everyone. Uh, you are a snaky bitch. <laughs> you were the Shh. first to turn. Shh. What was that? No, Something me. fell. How much monster do they have? Are they actually wearing pajamas? Oh, <gasps> Fucking hell, I think I saw it for the thought. Oh. It's not that one, that one's still on, I'm filming. It's your camera. Where did you put your camera, Dave? In the coal shed. In the coal shed? The coal hole. The coal. I was just like, complaining. Then oh, your camera's on the floor. What? Wait. What? Now he's moving. Oh, your camera's on the floor, Dave. Why is the camera on the floor? Oh my fucking god! What? It was on the chair. <gasps> the camera's on the floor. The it's under the chair. The How's it under the chair? <gasps> you are taking the piss. Is it still recording? No, it, it it shut off. But it would have come back on. Why are his toes out? Why are his toes out? Off. Guys, the camera is fucking. It's... How has it gone? We we heard that. Oh my god! Well, did it capture any footage? Or what? What's the deal? It's recording now. Something's going on. How did it fall off the chair? Have you ran out of space? Yeah. There was many hours. Recovering data, oh my fucking god. It's been corrupted and all. The thing is, if, if, <laughs> that was a massive crash. Reinsert the memory card. What? Ah, that's because we've had this before, I think. Uh, that's because it's been um, knocked over, it's had, it's had a knock. Yeah, but why? <sighs> Something's knocked that off. Yeah, something has knocked his camera off. That looks like a half decent camcorder. It's recording now. It ain't broke. Is, is, there, is there any um, old footage? I mean, is the um, footage. I'm just gonna. Turn the footage it off been now. Did you stop it before? Oh, you would have been no, right. it was recording all the entire time. Three of us were upstairs. And yeah. we all heard it. All three of us. Well, I am a Because it was so loud, and I was like, oh, hold on, this. Please say it's still on there, Dave. The lightest, lightest, no, not the lightest one. I don't know. Come on, Dave. It'd be this one, wouldn't it? Hold on to this still there. Red, turn the lights up for him. 
Dave, turn around so we can show it on the camera. Well, on. is it on there? This is um, when we were in the front room. I kept it recording the entire time from when it was in there and placed it on here. It's all one file. So we're going to have to fast forward. It's print times four. It's on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank God. Oh. No? It's gone. It's gone. Oh my so there's god. There's no file from in this room. So how much footage would you have lost, do you think? Well it was recording the entire time it was in here. You, you lost all your spirit box or is that all? Right? No, that's all there. No, it's See, all right. The only footage it's lost is the whole time it was in the coal shed. It's lost the entire footage of it being that's right concerning. there. What on the that hell? That's that, weird. that camera will have picked that up all day. Yes. That camera will have picked it up, so it's what okay. What I really don't like about this room is they've got candles and a mirror. Is there got something? Can go and something. That one? Which implies scrying. To see what it was. What I'm going to do is put it back on record. The um, camera was actually on memory. that chair for. It, it, it didn't fall off, it didn't do nothing. It was on there for ages. We were upstairs for about half an hour. I know. So how did it end up on the floor under the chair? And it was right there. Why would it end up under the chair? Okay, well that's just freaked me right Which out. Which is, is that, is that how it was then? Yep, yeah, exactly like that. The thing is, even even like that, it's not going to just fucking fall. No. If it was going to topple over, it would have done that as soon as you put it on the chair. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it so, wouldn't have just sat there. Okay, guys, so that's how the camera was. Um, We've got two ca It's it's a, it's a flat fucking, it's a flat chair. It's yeah. not going to just topple over just like that. That's weird. That is a bit weird. So you guys, um, we've just kind of finished doing that little kind of vigil. This camera hasn't fallen off, but Dave's obviously did, which was very, very strange. We're all going to go to bed. I'm a bit shit up at the moment, so we're kind of going to sleep in the same room because that's how hardcore we do these <laughs> yeah. kind of things. Um, I think it's for the best. Yeah, it's been quite quite a good night to be honest. It's been quite a. I think part of me thinks we have to sleep. Active then. day. I've had a lot of jump scares. I think the one with the camera going down just came out of nowhere and he was so loud. That was good. That was very. We didn't even. Well, we weren't even doing anything, were we? No. no. That's, we how always, laugh. that's how it always works in this house. The least attention you pay to the ghosts in here, the more action they I give you. That. Yeah. That so we're going to just head to bed now and yeah, I'll s see you in the morning. But I'm going to take the camera actually next to me so just in case any fucking anything kicks off. Of course, will, of course. We will uh, we'll have a camera in the bathroom. We've got a, are you keeping yours at the bottom of the yeah, stairs? Yeah, the one at the bottom of the stairs. So we've still got cameras running so... And this you is know, the bedside camera. That's it. This is the personal camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll uh, see you in the morning, I suppose. Yeah. Come on then. So, it's day three. Uh, Dave and Alex have left. Uh, nothing happened last night. You know, we stayed up till about five in the morning, I believe, and nothing happened. So, it's pretty quiet, so nothing to really show. And it's around about 11 o'clock now, so we didn't, we haven't had really much that much sleep. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I've got a massive headache because I haven't even left the house. I haven't even had any fresh air, nothing. So I'm gonna head home today. It's, it's been good, it's been amazing. I think we've caught some pretty interesting things. I'm looking forward to reviewing the footage. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video guys, uh, leave a like, leave a comment on your thoughts on some of the stuff. So there's the outro. So, they didn't get anything massive, but they got enough that the video was still exciting. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that video. I'm going to drop them a subscribe. I haven't actually watched any of their videos before, so I thought I'd watch one before I subbed. Um, but no, that was good. So, with that, I'm going to end the stream. Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll stream again tomorrow night, I reckon. Probably something similar, maybe even some more videos from this channel. I might watch the RAM video and see what they had there. Um, but thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you later. Peace.